We are today here in Florence at the Florence School of uh, Regulation uh, to discuss uh, implementing REMIT, the regulation on wholesale energy market integrity and transparency. Um, the implementing acts were recently voted on in the uh, comitology procedure. Uh, we are now awaiting the adoption of the implementing acts and uh, their publication entry into force. Today we discuss with stakeholders, uh, both national regulatory authorities and industry stakeholders, reporting parties, traders and other stakeholders, uh, how to implement it um, and um, what are potential issues that uh, stakeholders see in order to provide ACER with the data they have to report under the Remit Implementing Acts. Uh, topic is the timeline for implementing Remit. We are currently expecting that the Implementing Acts uh, will enter into force in early next year. That would mean nine months later, uh, data reporting to the agency would start in the first phase of data reporting and then 15 months later Remaining data that is not reported in the first phase, mainly non-standard contracts, uh, OTC contracts, uh, transportation and uh, fundamental data from TSOs, SSOs and LSOs will be reported at this stage. Uh, so the timelines we are currently looking into are uh, most likely October 2015 for a first phase of reporting and then spring 2016 for a second phase of reporting. So we're well underway with the implementation and specifically focusing on areas like data collection and obviously the market monitoring that we'll be performing. The registration system is already in place and available for use by NRA, some of whom are already live. On data collection, we're focusing on aspects such as security of the system, so in terms of confidentiality and integrity of the data and availability of the systems themselves, and also on aspects such as data quality, which require important aspects such as validation. Then with regards to market monitoring, we'll be focusing on the key areas where Acer can add value. And simply because of the breadth and volume of data that we're going to have across Europe, we're gonna focus on areas such as cross-border, cross-market, cross-venue, cross-product, and cross-commodity commodity monitoring to prevent manipulation in those areas and other aspects such as the prevention of insider trading. So 2015 is gonna be a very busy year for us, but hopefully we'll soon be in a position to guarantee the integrity and transparency of the European wholesale energy markets. I think it's, a, it's been a really long and a fruitful day full of interesting discussions. Uh, I'm, really, uh, I'm really glad that the key role of energy exchanges in the process of Remit's implementation has been emphasized. Uh, well, the first thing is that uh, contracts admitted to trading at, at organized marketplaces uh, are serve as a reference for determining what is a standard contract for which, uh, for which different uh, deadlines apply uh, in terms of reporting. And second of all, we are kind of indirectly obliged to report on behalf of our market participants, for which uh, most of us are uh, already in the setup phase to become RRMs. Uh, we, we've gained some experience uh, in, in terms of reporting because the EMU obligations. Uh, so, uh, of course, the technical advice is still crucial for us, and we are, uh, we are particularly uh, glad with the excellent work that Acer is doing in that terms. This has been an excellent workshop with a lot of interesting presentations from various stakeholders. I think it's good to meet across professions and so get different angles on the topic. Norpool Spot has done a lot to prepare for the implementing acts and the data reporting. We have been involved in the drafting of Remit and the implementing acts through public consultations and roundtable meetings. We have close interactions with Acer and the NRAs. And in addition to that, we have also established a customer focus group consistent of our members and stakeholders. This is the main channel for us to get feedback and input to the design and system development for the data reporting. 
Norpolspot has an indirect obligation to report on behalf of our members and we are now in the final stage of developing that service. So I think pretty much probably everyone's heard of Trayport, but I just wanted to spend a second talking about what we do in the market. So we, we're a trading platform. We provide a uh, trading systems to wholesale uh, brokers and to energy exchanges, about 30 in total. Uh, they will be uh, organized marketplaces under Remit. We also provide a, a trading system to about 250 of the largest market participants. Um, we, we are a vendor in this uh, implementation. And so we will act on uh, behalf or on the request of those who actually have a, uh, an obligation under remit, uh, primarily the market participants. Saying that, we've been involved in EMEA reporting uh, for the past uh, year or so. We have a lot of experience with reporting um, and a lot of lessons learned. Uh, we found it to be a fairly uh, time-consuming and uh, human-intensive operation. For as much as it could be automated, uh, things change, APIs change, processes change, uh, trading and contracts change, uh, which creates a uh, quite a significant uh, human uh, uh, in, in, in involvement and interaction. And uh, so one thing that uh, kind of raises is, uh, particularly make one point, the, the RRM model. So I think uh, Remit has, has done a, a good job and Acer has done a good job of providing, defining the technical standards to be an RRM. But uh, the fact is the barrier uh, to be an RRM is quite low. Contrast this, for example, to the FSA with the MIFID implementation. We had a, quite a significant financial barrier to becoming an, R, uh, an ARM, of which RRMs often compared to ARMs. Uh, this created a, a situation where there was relatively few ARMs, so market participants knew uh, where to go to uh, to get the reporting done and it also made sure that the arms had a, a sustainable business model. I think one of the problems we're going to face with Remit is that because the barrier is so low to RRMs there will be a lot of RRMs and then there, there will be a shakeout over the coming years as RRMs find it's, uh, it's not quite the business that they thought it was or not quite able to cover their costs. Um, so I think this is one of the things we'll, we'll be getting onto. And uh, we're in uh, Dialogue with regulators, market participants, and organized marketplaces um, about implementation. If you'd like to get in touch with us, uh, please do. And we're happy to pick up the conversation with you. The objective of efficient regulation is that um, the administrative burden for the energy traders is not too big and also not the cost. Um, we understand that it's necessary and we really want to work to cooperate, to make it happen. But if we see Dot Frank and Amir, that is not very successful. Um, on Amir at the moment, 10% um, of the trades cannot be matched and cannot be used by the regulators. One of the reasons is that the transaction reporting agencies and repositories, they use proprietary standards and they're all different. And if you add it on up, that's difficult. So you get different portions with data which you cannot add up. And Acer has still the opportunity to do a much better job by standardization uh, of the data exchange. Volker and his team are doing a very good job and we want to help him with that. Um, one of the reasons is that Acer is the XML, Acer XML is an abstract from the CPML standard that the whole industry has been working on uh, for the last 10 years to, uh, to make it happen. And uh, the good cooperation is, is making uh, sure that uh, the data exchange will work, although a lot of decisions still need to be made. Um, therefore, we also invite the separate organization uh, to be used by Acer and the NRAs and the other market parties to work out uh, technical problems to, to, for the standardization. For instance, a physical standard forward, there are seven formats in the industry and IT systems can't handle that. We, we need to harmonize that. Um, also, we think it's very good that there are RRMs that can be used by the traders to do the reporting. That means that there is a one-stop shop for the traders so that they maintain kind of an overview of what is reported on their behalf. And the fact that uh, Acer is uh, making it uh, possible for that is, is a good thing. So 
um, we're critical, but we, we still believe it, uh, it can be done. And uh, we hope that all the national regulators will follow the guidance of ASRA in this one. I was very happy to attend today the uh, workshop on remit implementation. Uh, everyone is getting excited via, because we are uh, very close to the operational implementation of remit. Remit was adopted in 2011. The implementing acts uh, are in the process of being finalized and adopted and the operational phase of remit will start nine months after that. So we are getting close, everyone is getting ready. What I brought today to, uh, during my presentation at the workshop is, is a presentation of uh, cruise experience. We've been monitoring the market since 2006. So we, I shared with the group uh, our experience, both in monitoring, but also in, um, in the investigation uh, side of, of the operations and, and provided the global uh, overview of our operations from monitoring to enforcement to sanctions, uh, and inc including its operational aspects and IT. Uh, we, it was very interesting also to share the experiences of other NRAs, to learn from Acer uh, where they stand. They gave a very good overview of, uh, uh, of where everyone stands in terms of remit implementation. It was very interesting to, um, to hear from the market participants what were their remaining que questions close to the uh, real operational phase. And my uh, uh, final comment would be um, to, to, to stress that everyone seemed very much interesting, uh, interested in making this a success. Uh, and I think uh, several uh, NRAs commented during the workshop, during my session today, on the fact that it's for the benefit of all stakeholders, and including market participants, that Remit is a success, is fully operational, and prevents market abuse and ensure fair trading for everyone at the benefit of uh, market participants. So, so I think that was a very positive note. Uh, and I, I would like, again, to stress uh, close commitment to fully contribute to uh, a su successful operational implementation uh, of Remit. Thank you very much. I'm here today to state the main points of my presentation today in this workshop. They were addressing a very important issue of remit implementation and how engaged we are in Portugal in remit implementation. We were concerned about uh, some issues that were also the concern of market participants like double reporting and the costs of implementing remit. Our experience in Iberia shows that double reporting is not a problem if you do the things properly and the costs of implementing remit frankly speaking, are a, major, a minor part of the cost that you would have if you don't comply with Remit implementation. That's the, the, main, the main issues that I would like to stress today in my presentation. Um, uh, we have very much appreciated the possibility of uh, participating in the workshop today. Uh, it was uh, a good opportunity to us uh, for raising uh, the points uh, that we still uh, see open uh, in view of the full implementation of reporting. Uh, and it was also an occasion, a further occasion, to appreciate ACER uh, strong involvement in the production of its trade reporting user manual, which is uh, basically aimed uh, at uh, facilitating reporting by market participants participants uh, and uh, as we are. Uh, the points that uh, we have been raising today, I think I, to mention the, the major one, there are some process-wise, we have been discussing a lot about uh, double reporting, uh, about the parties involved uh, and hence uh, large market participants, uh, large final customers, uh, which is uh, one issue still, uh, we all agreed on this, uh, still to be dealt with uh, and a big challenge uh, of, um, for, uh, for all the parties involved, institutional actors and suppliers. And then uh, we had a very interesting uh, talk about uh, uh, the content of reporting uh, and uh, the distinction between standard and no standard contracts with a, a very deep um, discussion about the specificity of non-standardized contract reporting. Today we had the opportunity to express the views of EDF as a supplier uh, regarding especially non-standardized contracts for which we believe that we need to ensure both an efficient and not an overly burdensome reporting process. 
there's still a long way to go, both with NRAs and Acer, uh, to, have an, to achieve actually a good reporting process for the next 15 months and go into in-depth dis discussions. The full implementation uh, success will depend clearly on the awareness of all market participants. That's not only suppliers, these market participants are large customers, TSOs, traders, uh, and all other uh, involved market participants. That's our goal for the next months. Uh, I really appreciate the invitation for the school uh, of the Florence School of Regulation to give up my company to the, give the opportunity to explain how we are working on the implementation of the remit. Uh, we have already explained that Gas Natural Fenosa is really committed with the remit goals and aims, and we are working to implement the remit rules in a very efficiently and timely manner. Uh, we have also stated in, in, in this workshop that as market participants, we see very important to have unstable and uh, a very reliable legal framework regarding the remit because involve many obligations for the market participant and I'm referring uh, especially to the data reporting obligation. We must have or we ask for to have a clear framework and to know exactly how we have to report those uh, data uh, information that has, is already requested under the remit, uh, under the implementing act draft. In this sense, we have uh, make especially pay attention to the not standard information and we have a request or we would like to, to emphasize that it's very important to define clear and timely manner how we need to report this data.